Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you, Joffrey? I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. Uh, listen, for those folks who are unfamiliar with your work, can you maybe tell us a bit about the Repairman Jack character and storyline? Well, Jack is an urban mercenary. He lives completely under the radar, pays no taxes, has, has no official identity, and hires out to fix situations. And okay. uh, somewhere along the line, he got the moniker Repairman Jack. He's not crazy about that name, but he is stuck with it. And he even starts a website with that name. Yes. Yeah, because uh, that's how he's, he's sort of known in, in the uh, underground. It seems that a lot of his, uh, his, the situations that he encounters are, are very are random, but you're kind of drawing them together as the books progress. Well, he's also gotten involved in a cosmic shadow war in which he is, a, I would say, a reluctant warrior. He's been drafted. He, he wants no part of this. That's the irony of the series. He has spent his whole adult life trying to develop complete autonomy, and now all his strings are being pulled by these forces over which he has no control. Now, uh, can you tell me where Jack comes from? Obviously, there's a lot of you in him since you know, you've poured your, your writing into the character, but is there anything in Jack that's directly representational of you? Well, I have a libertarian worldview, and Jack came from a frustration dream. I was having a lot of trouble with a novel I was working on, I dreamt that I was on this roof t rooftop being chased around by something. I had no idea what it was, but whatever I threw at it, it would do nothing. Set it on fire, throw it off the roof, whatever. It kept coming back. Huh. And so I woke up and I said, boy, that was intense. I've got to use that. And so I went about designing a character who could survive such an encounter. Okay. At that point, he would not be like me. Right. But, um, <laughs> My libertarian worldview came into it. I said, well, let's make him a little more interesting. You know, let's see. Well, what does he do? I said, well, let's, I'll just have him hire out for cash to fix situations. Okay. And uh, I said, well, wouldn't it wouldn't be interesting if he lives under the radar and does this. And then that, that libertarian worldview kept creeping in, and he, he became something of uh, an anarchist in a way. I've heard that things are kind of at a standstill for a Jack movie. Uh, can you give any news on that front? Well, Biggin Films has had it in development for, I think, we're into year 14 now. Many, many screenplays, at least seven screenwriters. We, we finally have a good screenplay that okay. I like and everybody likes. And we have Relativity Media, which wants to make it. They're sort of like the big money people in town. And so they're right now they're, they're casting about for a star. Ryan Reynolds has been attached for a while. I don't know if he is still they seem to, you know, there seems to be some momentum picking up on it again. That's good. It's to been hear. ebb and flow for all these years, and so I, I just don't get too involved in it, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's probably best. Don't want to get the hopes up too much.